Learn to lead. We make winners who lead. Hello students. Greetings from Firebird Institute of Research and Management, which provides the best PGDM and international MBA courses in kind of coming out. And we are very happy to announce that we are conducting a national level mock test for MAT 2023. Those who are aspiring to appear for Feb MAT 2023, they will get a good idea about the MAT 2023 Feb exam question paper by attending this mock test. The last date is the last date to apply for this mock test is Jan 20th, and the exam starts from 21st January. Those who want to enroll for this national level mock test, you can apply with the link given in the description box. Or you can also contact 8877046080. Either you can contact or just drop a WhatsApp message to this number to get the registration link for the national level mock test conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management on March 2023. And now, this video is all about December math question paper data interpretation part. Already we have provided December math question paper analysis and also we have solved mathematical skills questions, language comprehension based questions, which was asked in the December math question paper. Those who want to visit those videos, you can refer the link in the description box. We have given the all the links in the description box for your reference. You can also visit those videos to gain more knowledge about December math question paper. With that, you can prepare for your upcoming Feb math examination. And in this video, coming back, data interpretation is a very tough part in math 2022 question paper. And comparing with September math question paper, in December math, they have asked few calculator questions which was involved in the data interpretation part one. In this video, I'm going to teach you the best shortcuts for data interpretation and how to approach those questions for data interpretation. Here I have taken the toughest question which was asked in the last December math question paper and I have solved this for you. Watch this video completely to know more about the shortcuts involved in data interpretation. Now, study the following two tables and answer the question that follows. Number of candidates appearing UP State Police Recruitment Examination from six cities they have given. The numbers are given in lakhs in the first tabular column. And in the second tabular column, the ratio of candidates passing and failing for the next round of selection they have given. And see, now you have to do some calculator part here. Now let us see the first question. Which city has the highest number of students failing in the examination? So this is the common question where you have to calculate the number of candidates failing in the entrance examination. See here. Now, in case of Aramgarh, there are 1.25 lakhs candidates. That is 1,25,000 candidates are there in Aramgar, right? Now see here, the total number of candidates in Aramgar is 1,25,000 candidates, right? This is nothing but Azamgar. Okay, now. So the ratio, you have to divide it in the ratio or what? Seven is to? Three. Okay, so if the ratio is 7 is to 3, the total parts will be 10. So if I divide this by 10, I'll get 12,500 as my answer. 12,500 into 3 is nothing but 37,500 is the number of candidates failing in the examination. And 12,500 into 7. So 125 into 7, 12,500 is into 7 is nothing but first do 125 into 7. So what is 100 into 7? 700. Okay. And 25 into 7? 175. So 875 
followed by 20. So 87,500 is the number of people who passed in the examination. And coming to Balia. So there are 3,14,000 candidates in Balia. And the ratio you have to divide in value of what? 8. So if the ratio is 5 is to 3 and the total part is 8. Divide 3,14,000 divided by 8. You will get one part as 39,250. Okay. And 5 parts of 39,250. It is nothing but it is enough if you take 39,250 by half and add multiply by 10 at the end. Okay, if I divide this, if I take half of the value, 1 times, 9 times, and reminder again 1, 6 times, 250. And again, 39,250 into 3, you will get around 1, 1, 39,000. 250 into 3, right? So 39,000 into 3. So what is 39 into 3? We'll get around 117. Yes, 117750 is your answer. And here in Shabipur, 1 lakh 8,000. Okay, 1 lakh. If you see, note down these values. While referring this video, 1,8,000. So, Chabaipur, 1,8,000. If I divide this by 9. So, if you divide 1,8,000 by 9, you will get around 1 times 12,000. Get the answer is around. Twelve thousand. So twelve thousand into four it is nothing but forty-eight thousand. And twelve thousand into five sixty thousand. And in Dioria there are two lakh twenty-seven thousand peoples. So divide this two lakh twenty thousand two lakh twenty-seven thousand by four because the total parts the ratio is one is to four the total parts is Four. So, you will get 56,750. So, the number of candidates who pass the exam is 56,750. And the number of candidates who failed is, you have to multiply 56,750 into 3. You will get around 1,70,250. And in ETA, there are 1,85,000 candidates. So, divide this 1,85,000 divided by 5. We'll get around 37,000 as one part. So 37,000 into 2 is what? 37 into 2, 74,000. And similarly, 37 into 3, triple 1. So triple 1, triple 0 is your answer. In Faizabad, there are 2 lakhs. 73,000 candidates are there. So 2,73,000 divided by 12. You have to divide 2,73,000 by 12. So your one part is 22,750. Okay, one part is 22,750. So 22,750 into 7. You multiply, you'll get around 1,59,250. And the reminder. So again, 22,750 into 5 is nothing but 1,13,750 is your answer. Okay. Okay. I hope you came to know how to solve this question. And now, let us uh, go to the first part of the question. Just has to, so note down these values. Definitely these values will be helpful to solve the question. And see, when I go to the first question of this, see, which city has the highest number of students failing in the examination of the first question? See, if I see the number who are failing in the highest number failing in the 
entrance examination it will be as it is what 1,70,250 is the highest number of candidates failing the entrance examination in the city Dioria. So the answer for the first part of the question is Dioria. And let us see the next part. Number of candidates passing the exam from Faizabad. So how many candidates are passing the exam from Faizabad? See, if I uh, go to the table now. Faizabad, number of candidates who are passing the examination is 1,59,240. Okay, so now move to the next part of the question. It is 1,59,250. And total number of candidates appearing from all the cities together. So what is the total number of candidates appearing from all the cities together? It is nothing but you add all the students, you will get... 1232 that is 12,32,000. 12,32,000. And here it is 1,59,000. See the 10 percentage of 12,32,000 is 1,23,000 it will be. So it is more than 10 percentage. What is 1 percentage of 12,32,000? 12,320. If I add 1,23,000, with 12,000, you will get around 130 something. So it is more than 11 percentage. If I add another 12,000, I'll get around 12,000, 12.93 percentage is your answer. The exact answer for this question is what? 12.93 percentage. Now, let us move to the next question. What is the total number of candidates passing in the exam from ETA? See, if you refer this table, total number of candidates passing from ETA, triple one, triple zero is your answer. So the first option is your answer for this question. Okay. Now, let us move to the next question. The number of candidates appearing for the exam from Chabaipur is what percentage of the same from Baltia? See, the number of candidates appearing for the exam from Chabaipur. See, if you refer the table, 1,8,000 is what percentage of the same? See here, is what percentage of the same? 1,8,000. Is what percentage of the same from Baltia? From Baltia, there are 3 lakhs 14,000. Right? See, 1 lakh 8,000, 3 lakhs. So what is 1 by 3 part of 3 lakhs is what? 1 lakh. Right? It is more than 1 by 3. 33.33 percentage. The answer will be more than 33.33 percentage. See, if you do Calculation like this, definitely it will take time to strike out. But how I will guess is, see what is 1 by 3 part of, see in the numerator that is 1 lakh and in the denominator 3 lakhs. So I will guess that 1 by 3 part. So in the 14,000 and 8,000 if I compare, it is more than 33.33 percentage. See if I divide 14,000 into 3 half, I will get around only 4,000. 4,000 something, 4,500 something. But there is 8,000 in the numerator. So it is more than 33.33 percentage. So I'll, I'll choose the answer which is more than 33.33 percentage. So which is more than 33.33 percentage and nearer to it is 34 percentage. That is your answer for the fourth question. And in the next part, what is the ratio of the number of candidates failing in the exam from Dioria to those failing in the exam from Azamgar. See, what is the number of candidates failing in the exam from Dioria? It's nothing but 1170250. Failing in the exam from Azamgar, 37,500. So I can cancel both the values. Now I can cancel both in terms of 25 table. If I cancel 170, so it comes around uh, six times and 20. So your answer will be around 681. 
And here, if I cancel, I'll get around 1 times 150, right? Now, 681 is to 150. Now, I can cancel both in terms of 3 table. Okay, if I cancel in terms of 3 table, I'll get around 227 is to 50. So, the best part of the answer is 227 is to 50. So, I hope you got few ideas about how to solve data interpretation part. So, before solving your data interpretation part, just go through the five questions which was asked in the exam and based on that, you do the calculation. And then one more trick which you, you should follow is you should practice fast calculation. That is very, very important. So, try to practice fast calculation unless you know the sh shortcuts for mathematical part. Definitely, it will be very tough to solve the data interpretation and data analysis questions in the math exam because the question paper, they are, they are standardizing the question paper nowadays. And comparatively, when you compare September as well as December math question paper, December math question paper was very bit tough. So the same toughness you can also expect for uh, February math. So prepare well. And don't forget to enroll for the national level mock test conducted by Firebird Institute of Research and Management for the upcoming MAC 2023 exam. It is a platform to test your knowledge. You can test your preparation level with this examination. The test starts from Jan 21st. So if you want to enroll for this national level mock test, visit the link given in the description box. All the best students. Thank you. Learn to lead. We make winners who lead.